I don't know if you can see. There's little zero. It's just so cute. We're going to be out here for a little bit doing some repairs on a kiln. So I'm going to show you how to change out some relays, elements, and a thermal couple. Electrician day. So in this kiln yesterday, I went ahead and did a paper test. You just fold up some papers and you do every other one. And I turn the kiln on. And what you can see here is there's some char marks that show that that element is coming on. In this case, this is a glaze firing that went for four hours typically, and it took six and a half hours, which told me there was probably an element out in this kiln. Um, so I checked all of them, and I've got a little bit of a burn mark, but you'll see this one on the top here, there's no burn marks at all. So, you know, you can turn this kiln on and kind of feel on the edge, but these bricks do such a great job insulating it that it's really hard to tell. So you can just do a quick paper test, let you know, but that may not be the whole issue. So let me show you something else. So I have a select fire Excel kiln. You just click on your menu and you can, you know, kind of go through lots of things. So you'll push menu again to get to your diagnostic, push enter, and then again, menu to kind of go through the other options and you get to amps and you can hear it click on. So my amp one is reading six. So that element isn't really pushing out. And you heard it click again, but it didn't make any noise. So my amp two is at zero, which means there's probably a relay out. And my amp three is reading at 16, which isn't so bad. Uh, but these elements have been working hard. It shouldn't take six and a half hours for my kiln to run a glaze firing. So I went ahead and bought some relays and some elements and I knew the thermal couple was due. So I'll show that to you here too. You can kind of see there on the thermal couple, um, it's the digital thermometer that sticks into the kiln. There's a lot of erosion just from the heating and expansion of the kiln that's really done a number on that wire. So it's about ready to burn all the way through. So I might as well replace it too. So we're gonna replace that thermal couple, all of these elements, and then the relays that are inside. All right, so the first thing I have to do to get into this kiln is unplug it. I've got these screws here, about six of them I have to unscrew. It's gonna be wonderful electrician work today. Can't wait. <laughs> Well, this is the face of disappointment. I should have cracked this kiln open uh, before I went and got my elements from the store. I'm not gonna fix this kiln today. I'm not fixing this kiln today because when I crack this open, you can see what happened. Um, that amp's not firing um, because it's physically burnt up and not connected. So these just uh, got too hot. It was trying. So that little section eroded. Um, the other part that's attached to it did too. So I'm gonna need a whole new wire kit. I'll probably go ahead and replace the thermal couple. It's just held in here with four screws. Pretty easy, you just unscrew these two, slide out your thermal couple, thread it back in, screw it back in. But I'll show you how to do that. That's something I can do today. So I could unscrew this whole thing to pull the whole thing out, but what I've done in the past is I just undo these center ones here. Oh, runaway screw. And now I should be able to reach inside of the kiln here and just take this and just kind of wiggle it out. And there you go. Now if that thermal couple was still in there, it would have just slid right out, but it's pretty simple. You got your red wire and your yellow wire. You take your new one and the manufacturer has labeled them on your red and white. Then you just slide those in there. Red side, white side. And I try not to touch this thermal couple if I can help it. And then I'll take my screws, clamp that back on there. Just tighten that down till it's tight so it makes a good connection. Take your next one, set your screw in there. Now we're just going to go ahead and gently try not to scrape it up too much as you put it through that hole. Slide it through there. 
And now we take our other screws and just mount it back on there so that part's done. And there we go. Thermal couple replaced.